Hi, uh, this is uh, Jijo and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the CAT 2018 slot number one LRDS set or fuel contamination. Now this set is not that challenging. However, there is that one uh, particular rule which is problematic and making reduction based on that one rule can create a bit of an issue here. But if you are systematic, you can solve this set without too much of trouble. But let's see the story. It says fuel contamination level of 20 petrol pumps. So we have 20 petrol pumps P1, P1 P2, P20 were recorded as either high, medium or low. So we have 20 petrol pumps, high, medium and low. So let's go ahead and draw a diagram. Let's go here and say one, two, three, four, and 20. Perfect. Let's now look at uh, Rule number one, contamination level of three pumps from P1 to P5 were recorded high. So from P1 to P5, what we need is we need to have three highs, high, 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 and in some order or other. So we need to have three highs. Let's look at number two. P6 was the only pump between P1 to P10 where the contamination level was low. So what we now know is P6 is low and from 1 to 10 we cannot have any more lows. There is no more lows that we can put which means we have to put high and medium. Now given the fact that we have, have three highs there and we uh, have five slots, two slots need to be filled. Now the fact that L cannot uh, be there, uh, be a part of that five, so both of them has to be medium. That's what we can infer from there. Uh, let's go go and look at three. P7 and P8 were the only two consecutive numbered pumps where the same level of contamination was recorded. Now P7 and P8 has the same level of contamination. So and and and, and mind you, it is also said, and those two are the only two uh, pumps which are the same level of contamination. So nothing else from P1 to P20 is going to be consecutive anymore. Nothing else is consecutive. So here, what we see is that now this cannot be L because then there will be three which is consecutive. So there are two cases here. Either both can be M, that's case number one, and both can be H, that is case number two. But we cannot have any more stuff which is consecutive, and and that would be enough to kind of make inference from this uh, the 3H. Now, none of the 3H can be consecutive, uh, which would then mean that the only position is that H is here, H is here, H is here, 1, 3 and 5, and M will be 2 and 4. So that will get us, uh, that will get us value for the first 6, uh, 1 for sure. Uh, so here we know that there are two cases that is possible. Okay, so two cases that is possible. Let's, uh, let's f f fill those uh, cases here. Uh, so one case is the fact that it is uh, uh, both medium, that would be one case. Another case is that both is high. Uh, we already also know that those are the only two constitutes that is possible. And from 1 to 10, we cannot have any more L. So that would then mean that if there are two M's, the next one has to be H. And the last one, therefore, has to be M. That is one case. And the second one, we have a M. And the next one, we have a H. So those are the two cases that is now possible from 7 to 10. Let's look at number 4. High contamination level was not recorded in any of the pump from 16 to 20. Now from 16 to 20, uh, nothing, of that, uh, nothing of these were high. So there is no high which means we need to have low and medium. And we cannot have anything that is consecutive which means there are just two cases here. One case is that 16, 18 and 20 is low. And uh, 17 and 19 is medium that's case number one case number two is we have medium or uh, in 16 18 and 20 and we have then low in 17 and 19 so those are the two cases so what we see now is that uh, here there are two cases here there are two cases the total number of cases four we'll we'll just hold on to it uh, and we'll have to make sense of what is going to happen from 11 to 15 as well so let's look at the fifth case the number of pumps where high contamination level was recorded was twice the number of pumps where low level of contamination recorded the number of high is twice the number of low if number of high is twice the number of low here is why we have to make certain inference i think this is going to be the most crucial uh, piece of information from where we have to make inference Number of high should be uh, equal to uh, the uh, twice the number of low. So one uh, thing that you see in this case is that we have six. Let's look at the lows here. Let's pick it under colors. We have a low here uh, and we, we must have at least two low between 16 to 20. So the minimum low that we're going to get is three lows. So the minimum value of L would be equal to three. Therefore, the minimum value of H would be equal to 6. So there, there is that one case where you have to look at L, H and M. When L equal to 3, H equal to 6, which means the total has to go to 20, 
which means m has to be equal to 11. That's a minimum case. And mind you, h will now be an even number. Now we have a problem here. One of the problem here is going to be that m is 11. Please do understand that you look at, uh, uh, in this particular case, what is given is the fact that none of them have to be, are going to be consecutive. None of them have to be, uh, are going to be consecutive. So getting from 20, uh, getting 11 m's is going to be very next to impossible. So even if you consider this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm looking at this case, 6, 7, 8. And for us to get uh, 8, 9, 11, we need 3 more. The only way to get 3 more is, is to pick this position, which means there will be uh, cases where things are consecutive. So it is not going to be possible to get this level 11m out. So this case, which is the minimum case, is not something that is possible. The next case, of course, is uh, let's look at h. Please mind you, h is uh, uh, has to be an even number. So if you look at the case where we have got h, uh, h now cannot be 6, it has to be more than 6, it can be obviously less than 6. Uh, if you look at the case of h, we have 1, 2, 1, 3 and 5 is taken h. And we'll have to look at this case. Uh, this is 6 of them. Now, the possibility is to get 2 more. Okay, from here we cannot get 3 here. The maximum that is possible is 8. And it cannot go anything beyond 8. And since h is an even number, we cannot have 7 h's uh, also. So the only case now that is possible is that h will be equal to 8, which means l will be equal to 4, half of that. And that will make a medium that is 12 plus another 8, which is 20. That's the only case that is possible. When that is the only case that is possible, and we need to have h, uh, 8 h, this case is gone. Because we have then 1, 2, 3, 1, 3 and 5, that is 3, 4 four of them and we cannot push uh, for four here if you push four here things are going to be consecutive so this case here uh, of mm h and m this case is now uh, invalid that the only case that is going to be possible is to have this h h and m and h that's the only case that is now possible and other cases is uh, not going to be possible Right, otherwise we will not get to 8h. Now, which will then mean that we have got two cases that is possible here. So here we have a case with L, L, L there and uh, M and M, that is one case. We have got the second case where we have M, M and M there and we have got L and L. That's a two case there. Uh, and therefore, from 1 to 10, we are more or less sure, uh, we are exactly sure, we have h, there, h there, h there, 7 is h, 8 is h, 10 is h, and we have the medium, uh, 2 is medium, 4 is medium, 9 is medium, and that's a low. So we have this uh, now case number 1, we have case number 2, and that's the story. Now, let's look at, uh, let's figure out what is going to happen from 11 to 15. Now, L has to be equal to 4. I already see 1, 2, 3, four l's i can already see four l so l the story of l is done and how many h and how many m we need we need total of eight we see that one two three four five six they have got six h we need to have two more and uh, if you look at m one two three four four five we need three more so we need three m and uh, two h the only way we can push three m is by putting m there m there and m there and we can put h there and h there so case number one is 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 solid and it's finished now case number two we need these five positions 11 12 13 14 and 15 those are the five positions that is needed and what we need is l, uh, l has to go to four if we have got one two three l so one of them uh, here one of the, one of them has to be l and uh, how many h we need we have one two three four five six h which means we need two h uh, to go there so there are two h uh, to go there and we also need two m so there are six m and we need two m so one two three four five uh, now here there can be quite a few possibilities so one of course we can go m there h there uh, m there h there and you can push l in the 13 we, we could also put actually l here and then h here m here h here m here we can put l in 12 uh, we can we can put L anywhere in this case uh, and manipulate the rest. So the second case will have some multiple possibilities. We will not write down everything. 
okay and and this is all the story that we have we can interpret okay let's write this down uh, we have this uh, one case two case which has got some sub cases that is possible and h l and m the number of h is 8 number of l is 4 number of m is 8 and that's the story let's look at each question and see the answer uh, which of the following must be true let's look at contamination level at p10 uh, is high is that the case p10 is high p10 is both of them is high that is perfect and that's something that must be true so we have answer to question number one as one we can check two three and four uh, let's look at this uh, second one the contamination level of p13 is low is that the case that p13 is low p13 is medium in the first case it is not low anyway in the case number one so that goes uh, question number three says the contamination level of p20 was medium contamination level of p20 was medium p20 is low or medium both are possible it's we can't say for sure it is always going to be medium so three goes the contamination level of p12 uh, uh, p12 is high is it necessary that p12 has to be high in the first case p12 is high but in the second case this can go it can even take the value low it can be anything okay it is not necessary that it has to be high it can be low as well it will still work uh, you can you can think of a case where for example we have uh, we have put this to be low which means we need to this to be high medium high and medium it can work so it is not necessary that 12 has to be high uh, so we have answer to question number one question number two says uh, what can be said uh, what can be said about the number of pumps where the contamination level is medium we all, all, all figured that out that it medium has to be equal to eight so that's good enough for us to answer the question and say that the answer is exactly eight at the choice number one let's look at the third question if the contamination level of p11 was recorded low which of the following must be true p11 must be low let's look at the case where is p11 p11 in this case is medium so we need to get p11 to be low so 11 12 13 14 15 11 12 13 14 15 if this is low this is medium which means this has to be high 15 has to be high medium high and medium so that's a case low medium high medium high let's look at uh, which of the following the question is which of the following must be true the contamination level of p12 is recorded as high is it true p12 is recorded as high p12 is recorded as medium so for that is not true uh, let's move on to look at the next one contamination level of p14 is medium is that true that p14 is medium p14 is in fact medium which is perfect p14 is medium we have answer to that question as option number two we can check three and four as well the contamination level of p15 is medium is that the case the p15 has to be medium actually p15 has to be high so that is incorrect and let's look at the last case which says the contamination level of p18 was recorded as low is that the case that p18 is recorded as low which is not the case because p18 is way down there in medium so we are looking at something that must be true therefore we can say the answer to that question is definitely let's look at the last question if the contamination level of p15 was recorded medium which of the following must be false p15 is recorded medium if p15 is recorded medium which means it has to be this case now this cannot be medium we already have a medium there so we are looking at we are looking at for this question very specifically case number one so we have got every information about case number one already there so let's go ahead and look at uh, the question and each of the answer choice and the question is which of the following must be false p14 was recorded higher than p15 is put uh, 14 record higher than 15 14 is high 15 is medium yes 4 is in fact recorded higher than 15 and that is a true information but we are we have to check out which of the following is false therefore we have to eliminate number one because that is true information number two says the contamination level at p10 and 14 were recorded the same p10 and 14 is recorded the same this p10 and 14 oops record the same. 10 is high, 14 is high, they are recorded the same. So in fact, even uh, even that information uh, is, is true, so we eliminate that one. 13, contamination level of 13 and 17 were recorded the same. Is 13 and 17 recorded the same? Let's go back and check if 13 and 17 recorded the same. Oops, uh, 13 is medium, 17 is medium, 13 and 17 is recorded the same. So even that is also true which means the culprit is in the fourth one which is contamination level of 11 and 13 11 and 16 is recorded the same is 11 and 16 recorded the same uh, 11 is medium 16 is low they are not the same so therefore we have an answer in option number four and that will be the answer to this question 
Now, if you actually look at uh, this particular question, the the crux of the story. The story uh, is at, at the end uh, dealing with this uh, fifth uh, uh, information. The rest of the information is kind of not very difficult to interpret. It's the fifth one, which has got a little bit of maths. Uh, but not difficult to make the deduction. But if you make the de de deduction from the fifth, uh, fifth, fifth case that is given here or the fifth rule that is given here, you'll be able to answer this question. Thank you.